there's an obvious abnormality on this elbow x-ray. Let's have a closer look. The key to picking apart this x-ray is knowing about fat pads. Normally, the anterior fat pad lives within the coronoid fossa. We either don't see it at all, or see it as a thin stripe parallel to the anterior humerus. Secondly, the posterior fat pad lives within the olecranon fossa. We normally don't see the posterior fat pad as it's hidden by bone. So to summarise, the two fat pad rules are 1. The anterior fat pad can be visible but should not be raised and 2. The posterior fat pad should not be visible at all. So let's go back to our x-ray. Here we can see the anterior fat pad isn't just a thin stripe but is raised and the posterior fat pad is visible when it shouldn't be. These abnormal fat pads point to the presence of an effusion which in the context of trauma highly suggests an intraarticular fracture. In adults, the most common elbow fracture is a radial head fracture, so this is the first place to look. If we look closely, we can see a break in the cortex here. It's subtle, but because of the abnormal fat pads, we can be pretty sure that this is a fracture. So remember, the anterior fat pad can be present but should not be raised, and the posterior fat pad shouldn't be there at all. 